Hey, what's up, YouTube? Taylor Fuentes here. Today, I wanted to do a review on a um, violin that I bought on eBay from a Chinese violin maker. Um, I won it on an auction. It's, uh, I don't know if you can really see, like, really up in there. It's a copy of a Stradivarius, like a 1716, I think, something like that. Really, really pretty violin one piece back um i think what is that like rosewood or something the wood on it and the pegs really really nice looking um i paid 152 dollars for this thing and it came with 152 dollars and i paid um i think 59 dollars in shipping so it was like a total of like 211 dollars with everything it came with a bow and a case um, and it's just a really, I really, I like the sound of it, I mean, I really, for $152, like, there's some pseudo violins that cost, like, 400 bucks, and they're not near this pretty or this nice with this intricate. The only thing, he didn't put a label in it, I asked him to put a label in it, because it was a label, but he didn't, so, I don't know. That's the violin, this is my, this is my shoulder wrist, it didn't come with one. I think this is like a, a kun, kun, whatever you say that. What is it? The 4-4 four, four original. I don't know. I like this dress. I don't think I paid like 20 bucks for that or something. I'm like a music shop. I don't know. And um, it came with the violin. Really beautiful violin. Um, a bow. Uh, what is it? A palm. What is it? The. Um, Um, it's like a brazel wood bow or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It has a good weight to it. I like it. It's relatively, I mean, if you can see it, it's relative. It's pretty straight. I mean, it's straighter than the, the, I think it's straighter than the other bow I have. It cost me a couple hundred dollars. Um, I think my other bow cost me, I'm not really exactly sure how much, but I like this bow. It has a good weight. It's heavier than the other one. I like heavy bows. Keeps it from bouncing, I think, kind of. Um, it came with the case. <clears throat> came with a case. I guess they just use this to ship it in because, I mean, it's really just cheap, really light case, and it was all bubble wrapped and everything. A couple compartments. And I have a few other cases, so I put this violin in another case because I really don't like this case. Came with some, uh, some rosin, some light rosin. <clears throat> I haven't used it. I have another rod of hill rosin, I think. Came with a strap on it. A strap, I guess you can strap it to the back. Kind of do it as like a backpack. And a really cheap case, not even really worth using. But it's good for shipping. I'm sure that's why they sent it. The bow is really, <clears throat> really, really nice. I like the violin. Beautiful violin. I have a comparison of my other violin that I have. And this is a now, this is a Chinese violin. This is a Chinese copy of a Stradivarius. This is what I bought off eBay. This is a European-made violin. I'm not sure. Ivan Dunov or something like that. I don't know if it's like Romanian. It's some kind of... I think it's a high-end student violin, maybe. It's a two-piece back. It's a pretty violin. I mean, that's just... from the other one, one from the other. But this violin is a little bit smaller than this one. I don't know if that's just the way the copy was made or if that if the measurements were maybe off from when he made this one, which I don't think so. This violin is a little bit thicker, the fingerboard and everything. This was $152. This was like a th like 900 or 1000 And I like this one a lot better. I should have went with this one first off. Um, the bridge it came with, I had to put it on because it didn't, it wasn't set up, and um, I had to put it on. It's a, it's a Albert bridge. I don't know if you can really see the name of it from that angle, but um, it's a French, or at least it says it's a French bridge, but I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it's a nice violin, really pretty, 
violin is a little bit smaller, like I said, for the other one. Maybe I'm just used to that one, and kind of the neck board's a little, the, the finger behind the neck is a little bit thicker. This has a really, I like the sound of this one. Um, the only thing is that the E string, the nut on the E string was too low, and I put like a piece of like paper from a cigarette carton, like a, the metal paper, you know, that cigarettes come in, just to lift it up for a second before, so until I can get that changed. And um, I'm just gonna play a little bit on, on both violins and just, you can kind of compare them. Um. correctly or something like that but it sounds good and that was um, the the one I bought off of eBay now this is just the, the one I had same piece Chinese knockoff or Chinese copy of a Stradivarius. I really like this violin. I've been playing this violin for the past couple of weeks. Um, it did. Um, the, the, it did was, was making my fingers black when I first bought it, but the guy said it was just polishing agent that he said, but doesn't do it anymore. I wiped it off really, really well with like pledge and wiped it dry. It hasn't given me any more problems. And um, I really like this violin. It's beautiful. I mean, for under fifty dollars, you can't really beat it. I've seen, you know, the Cecilio or the other, like, you know, hundred dollar violins or fifty, sixty dollar violins. And to tell you the truth, this is way, way better deal. I'm telling you right now. This is um, the guy. The I'm just gonna show you a page. I'm not sponsored by this guy at all, but this is just. I don't know if the light will kind of get off of it for a second. Yeah, that's the page where I bought it from, Violin Shops or something. And that's the picture of it. It looks, I mean, exactly like the picture did. And it tells you, you know, what it's made out of. And the, it comes with a case and some rosin and a bow. But I really like this violin. I mean, I recommend anybody. You you just have to, you, you bet on it. You can't, like the Cecilio and stuff like that, I know you can buy them outright. I bid on a few different ones, and this is the only one I get. This is the only one I won because um, just people outbid me like at the last like four or five seconds or first one second left on the on the auction and they outbid me. So this is the one I finally won with the one piece back. Beautiful violin. I think it sounds sounds really good. save some money if you can win the auction I definitely recommend doing this it did come with like cheap I guess steel strings or whatever I put I have to mastic the vision the green or whatever and I switch it over to I put some on this one and um, I'm liking it pretty good I mean I recommend you guys if you guys want to go out and get yourself a violin that's not that expensive and I mean pretty good decent quality violin I mean you couldn't beat that with a stick say the truth of the, the Cecilio I bought a Cecilio for my son it was like a, a, a quarter size I think something like that piece of crap piece of junk to tell you the truth this violin way if you can win an auction on them and you're probably I mean all the violins that this guy sells they go from like 150 like the auction started at a dollar they go from anywhere they sell I mean when the auctions over from anywhere like 150 to 180 dollars just depending and if you can win it I recommend you get one of these because I mean you can't really beat it bow I like the bow a lot I like it almost better than the one I had before and um, I recommend you go out and get this one 
if you want to not pay that much money and get something really, really decent, I mean, you can beat it with the stick. All right, man. Well, that's it for the for my review on my violin I bought on eBay. If you guys liked it, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Um, and let me know what you think with your comments and messages. Thanks, guys. See you later.